Hi everybody, I'm JT, this is Harry, and we've arrived. We are at the camping and caravan, caravan, camping and motor home show. And we're going to go and have a look around and see everything there is to see inside and see if maybe we can find our next camper. Who knows? But it certainly seems like there's loads and loads to see. Yep. Let's go. So this is one of our short lists, which is the Westphalia Columbus. That's the special chair, bed. Yeah. Harry, just sit on there and see what it's like. But it's wide enough. Here it has legs. Yeah. But the upholstery would be extra. Is it like a heated toilet seat? That seat? Yeah. yeah. under the cupboards. That's your table up there. Is it a table? This, you know, the table that will sit here. Oh, okay. It's stored up there. You can certainly see inside, there's really nice quality fittings, the fixtures in these. It's like a nice sort of fabric to the top. Let's have a look at the shower room. Ugh. Nice and confined. Mm. And then a double bed across the back. So we're going to have a look at the bed space at the back and see how much storage there is. So we've got cupboards all the way along here. Nice. Even got speakers. Even the speakers at the back, yeah. Is it quick to deploy? Yeah. The great thing is, is that these are removable. We can unzip the, the carbon machine, wash them as well. If you storage you're after, we just lift this up. And then all of your uh, duvets and pillows we can store underneath there. Okay. Maybe if you want a microwave, you could probably store a microwave under there as well yeah. and then plug it in into the mains on the, on the kitchen. Because obviously this particular one, which is a 601D, Basically, the D meaning that is a transverse bed at the back with a living fridge here, which is a 70 litre fridge with a freezer compartment as well. So, as a bed, so that would be fine for, for you, Harry. For, that's it. Yeah. That's 
so you could probably sort of stand and jump onto there, you know, for very yeah. small children as well. There is a safety feature with the bed. The bed, so you must uh, put this uh, prop. So there's a prop that goes into here. Okay. Yeah. okay. And this stops the lateral the front. And that's it. This is actually exclusive to West Bar here as well. Yeah, we've seen so, it. Yeah. Just use the belts. So I think that's such a great selling feature. It's great. Does it have? Oh, yes, it's got headrests as well. There's headrests in the cupboard. Okay. Is it, it feels like a normal. Yeah, it feels yeah. like a normal car seat. So we've come all the way to look at camper vans and Claire's been absolutely taken in by this beautiful, no, I can't deny it, really nice crockery. And over here they've got plates with rubber bottoms. Ignore the price because they are really, really nice. But the rubberized bottoms so they don't move around. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. So Claire's going to stay here looking look at all the crockery and we're going to go and look at some buttons. <laughs> oh. Get a photo of that. Anti-slip stopper set. So how much is that? I don't know. Go and ask it. What it is, is just you put it on. on your feet on your face. Yeah. So we could transfer, transform our existing camping crockery. <laughs> All sorts of great things to have a look at here, and we're really taken with this equipment from Snow Peak. Um, really nice, really nice quality, quite expensive, but looks really, really good. There's not a huge range of Heimer vans on display here, as so they're just being represented by a dealer. This was one of the ones that we possibly were looking at, but I have to say, I don't really, it's not really doing it for me. So it's a Mercedes Sprinter based van. The seat space in the rear cabin is a fixed seat, which is quite vertical. Harry, just sit down on it. Okay. There is more leg space. More leg space, a bit longer, isn't it? Than some we've seen, but really squishy seat, but not adjustable. And I think I'd have to check the measurements, but I think these sprinter van conversions are a bit longer, but also a bit narrower. Pardon? It's like a fit down. You sleep long ways, eh? One tall person one side and a short person the other side. Yeah, so that's Heimer was sadly a bit of a disappointment but it wasn't quite the model that we were hoping to see and again I know that they're not represented here as a whole manufacturer we were hoping to see the Fiat based um, one of their edition models but it seems to be the only one here but yeah. it has one benefit it's, it's free <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and according as Claire's just pointed out according to the sign it's free so ignore the price sign of 71,000 it's free. All right. We'll take two. <laughs> so after months, maybe even years of research, I've changed my mind and I've decided I want one of these. Also not to laugh. An Overlander Pod Caravan. Um, I like the look of this crafter, but it's too big. That one's nice. Which one? This one here? 
Can you see the ceiling in this one, Harry? Look, it's like a constellation. Can you change the constellation? I don't know. So it's not exactly what we're looking at. But these guys, three bridge, you've got a couple of really nice conversions here. Uh, one on a T6 and one on the man TGD, the equivalent of the crafter. Um, crafter or the TGE, the man one, has won an award for the best conversion over six metres with a pop top. So we'll try and have a look inside that one in a minute because that's more like what we would be looking at. Um, and then this little T6 behind this, a really nice finish to it. A very contemporary design inside. And look at that, an induction hob. Now this conversion from Three Bridge is absolutely spectacular. Put beyond our budget, comes in according to the guys about 120,000. Look at that, isn't that fantastic? Dirty. It's an awesome van. And it's Safari snorkel. Optional mud. Look at these great super chunky tyres, BFB bridge tyres. Interesting pop top style on top of each one of these tent boxes. I love the ski on the outside. These guys are dirty weekend. Sounds like they know how to have some fun. This is absolutely not what we were looking for, but you can't deny it. it's really, really cool. Love it. This is kitchen pod. And there's Harry's ladder going up here. My ladder! I just love the whole sort of rugged, chunky tyres. I am being serious. I want one. You want one? You want one. I want one. I want one. Don't ask the man how much it is. Which man? The dirty man. The one covered in mud. I'm going to get one of these because this means that we won't have to go to a campsite. Yeah, you could go anywhere you want it. So this is a Columbus 540. So we'd probably go for the six. Um, really good size shower room, plenty of storage space, nice and light, this one doesn't have a pop top, this one does have a pop top which means you get a solid roof but good size space. Um, this is the seat that doesn't convert into the bed but does still give you a wider seat adjustable for reach and rake. If we chose the 6 metre it would be longer. This is a 5.4. This is a 5.4. It's a shorter one, yeah. It's still got the better seat. We use a ladder to climb up here so the ladder fixes on here, jump up. So we've tracked down the third choice on our list, which is the Adria Twin. Um, this particular one is a 640, which is probably a little bit bigger than we would be looking for. We'd be really be looking for the 600, um, but it's also got the popped up on the top as well, which we're a bit undecided as to whether uh, we would want to go for that as well. So I'll have a look inside, see what we think. One of the not concerns, but is the whether the extra travelling seats work. Or Harry, okay. might not be able to try those properly as the ladder's in place, but we'll see. 
I think it's interesting with these pop top ones where the pop top is doesn't affect the roof here. No. So it doesn't make it feel any different in the van. You're just gaining that additional space up in the roof. So you've got a sliding door in the bathroom instead of a, a door door. Tambor door. Whereas the Westphalia had a proper door. Similar toilet setup. Proper sink or plastic sink. So not quite as um, robust I guess and then this is completely different with how you can store your bikes and luggage in the back so these bag nets along the top beds flip up these flip up out of the way and then double bed storage down here so these fold down it's a really clever use of space but it's a bit more um, utilitarian I guess these are on straps raise up or down Probably the best of both worlds, I guess, between something you can stay in, something you can chuck all your kit in. It's a good van. It's a good van, yeah. But just don't worry. Yeah. But just because of the rear seats. And these belts. Yeah, and that will fold up. I don't know if it pivots or... It goes up here. It's the same as this. It does the same as that? Yeah. Doesn't it go up these? Ah, yes, I see. That's yeah. Yeah. yeah, you can raise them, can't you? So yeah. you can shorten that and have it a bit higher up. Higher up. Yeah, it's built for kayaking, mountain biking, rock climbing, it's a sort of lifestyle. Is that what they say? Set up in that one. Yeah. Let's go and have a look in this other one, see if we can try that seat. You're right about that window. It's okay. If you remember when we were in Westphalia, he talks about you could have the, a larger window at the top as well, like this one. Yeah. Move in. So this is the the big test. Remember the table wouldn't be there, you'd have the table folded down. These seats aren't too bad actually. They're not as bad as some of them we saw. There's more of an incline. I don't think they I don't know whether they adjust adjust at all. So if you were giving the Westphalia seat a score out of ten, yes. the travelling seat, what would you give it? Um an eight. An 8 out of 10, compared to our California one. Compared to the California Yeah, okay. And I mean, what would you score this one out of 10? I mean the... Comfy. They're comfy. I'll give it an 8 as well. Okay. So about the same? They're quite similar. I think it's narrower. 
They're quite deep seats. Yeah. I noticed that. It's quite a squeeze to get in. Good storage. Yeah. And the fridge is in a different place. It's a high up fridge. More storage here. So you've got more storage here. That's where the difference is. That's where your extra 40 centimetres is over the 600. And in this family model, this clever double bed. I say double bed, bunk beds effectively. So yeah, really cool. Hey, you found a secret Columbus. Sorry, not trying to look at you on the bed. No, that's <laughs> all right. <laughs> I'll ask you, babe, can you want just to do that? Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Has it got a fridge down it's got there? A fridge here. Yeah. Well, that's a good fridge. Good size fridge. This one's got a proper fridge down there. But basically, it's the same. So this bed will fold again, will it? Well, this, no, the seat will move, uh, but it's not a bed because it's got that little wardrobe. That's the wardrobe oh, thing he was talking about. But you could swap that yeah. to be a folding bed. Yeah. This one's got the pop top. This one hasn't got the windows. You've got extra storage there. So this is a 600. Best vehicle of the day? Yep. Best vehicle of the day. Oh wow. Which is the one that does the sirens. That's my tail's one. 999, so if you have a call, cool. um, that's when you're near to the call. And that's when you so is that a great You've been paying attention to the programme then? Of course I do. <laughs> So wood burning stove goes up in 10 minutes. Poly cotton, fairy lights, dimension cushion. Yeah. That's probably the problem there. Yeah. Because it saves the phone. So it's a six meters with a pop top. That's what they're talking about with the fridge. If you have the fridge on the top, yeah. you get an extra wardrobe down the bottom, mm -hmm. but you lose worktop space. But you do get a bigger fridge. Mm -hmm. So you can have the fridge underneath, not have that wardrobe and have more worktop. Big window. Very solid. I'm just going to try it. Ooh. So this is probably our second favourite van. Second favourite? Third. Third favourite. What's the second? second. 
which I was don't know. second. Which was your second? I don't know. This is how it The thing I'm just sitting here is these seats. They are quite upright. And just for a longer journey, I'm not so sure that they're anywhere near as comfortable as either what we've got or what we can have in certainly the, the West Valley. But everything else about this van I really like. Like the layout, I love that extra big window at the top, like the prop top. Price is good. Sorry, the shower is the shower is clever. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Yeah. Do that again. Also, the whole door pivots. Ah, that is clever. I want to try the shower. Sit on a wet toilet. Yeah. But you haven't got a solid door. Mm. So just does that lock in or anything or does it slide it just, open? Just stops there. Yeah. Is you won't have That is clever. I didn't even notice that. What was thinking this chair? Yeah. This is the thing, is that the only niggle that I can see with this in particular, with these Adria vans, is the seat. Which is a real shame. Yeah. But there we are. So this is absolutely not why we are here, but it seems rude not to go in and have a look at one of these temporary homes, mobile homes, static homes before we go. But who can resist? Who can resist, exactly. So for the price of a camper van or a nice motorhome, we could have one of these. Can't go anywhere with it, but... Okay. It's about the size of two of the cabins. <laughs> Wow, it's enormous. You can have a party here. Yeah, that's right, yeah. So there's family bathroom, twin bedroom, double bedroom with ensuite. Walk-in wardrobe. Okay, so here we go. Pricing. This model on show includes the following optional extras. On the Riverside Holiday Park in Southport, this home would cost £159,000. On a Southwest Holiday Park, so it would cost £179,000. So there's the catch. You can buy the building itself pretty cheaply, but the location where you want it set up is going to add significantly to the cost. But you're getting a lot for your money. A lot for your money. The finish is very nice and hugely spacious. Maybe when we get old. Let's see what Claire says. She's got the bug. We're going in a second one. This is the Omar. This is a completely different design to the one that we stayed in 15 years ago, isn't it? Where's all the, the pine cladding? This is far more sophisticated. <laughs> so if you don't want something with wheels on and you don't want to go anywhere, then this is perfect. Ticks all our boxes. More space, self-contained, comfortable, heated, nice. plenty of storage. Very nice. Okay, so we have spent four hours, five hours maybe, walking around the NEC. We've done how many, hours, how many steps? I have done... 13,000 13, steps, miles and miles of steps, and I think that we've seen everything that we were hoping to see. Um, Westphalia, a couple of Hymers, a few Adrias, lots of other things that have been really uh, interesting. Claire was particularly taken with the holiday lodges, but that's a completely different story. Anyway, we're going to go back to... Yeah, they were nice. So we're going to go back to the California, grab a cup of tea before we head back. Okay. We're back. So we're back in our own California. We're going to have a cup of tea before we head home. And have we had a good day? Yeah? Definitely. We've seen all the things we wanted to see and more. 
and I think it's safe to say that our list of possible options is still pretty much the same. Yeah. I really like the Westphalia, I like the Adria. Harry said that the Adria is his number three and we're trying to work out what his number two was. Can you remember? I think it was my number two. You think it was your number two? I think it was your number two as well. <laughs> so, and it was a shame that we couldn't see the Heimer um, Fiat-based edition in the version that we wanted to see, but um, oh, say to me, not a problem. But we saw loads of other things, had a really good day, and it's a great show if you're interested in buying anything to do with camping, not just camper vans, because we didn't look at any caravans. There was loads of tent um, equipment, so loads of tent set up, which we had a quick skirt round. We might think about changing our tent, but we didn't get distracted with that today. But it's been a really good day, and I think it's been a really good value day as well, because it only cost us £10 for the adult tickets and free parking. So it's been brilliant and a great way to see everything all in one place. The only downside is that we haven't been able to test drive anything, which you wouldn't expect here. So we'll have to still potentially do that at some point in the near future. And again, as you'd expect with a big venue, it's been busy, but at no point has it caused us a problem. And uh, even though COVID restrictions are now finished, it still was felt COVID safe, I think. So yeah, we'll have a cup of tea, head off home and then some serious thinking and some serious number crunching to do to work out which will be potentially our next van. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> I'm just watching fire. Cup of tea and a piece of cake. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed what we've seen today. It's been great. And remember just to hit the button to like, hit the button to subscribe, and we'll see you very soon on our next video. Thanks for watching. The camera's nearly out of battery.